Welcome to the Marine Channel. We're at Dusseldorf Boat Show on the Quarken Stand. I want to show you the 27, which is a really cool little boat and has just actually been highly commended at the Motorboat and Yachting Awards here under the Adventure Boat category. Really good value boat, 126,000. Comes with a 300 horsepower Mercury, which gives it about 46 knots. Come quickly look down the side of the boat with me. So, from the outside here, we can see it's got some hull windows, which we'll see on the inside here. We can also see we've got this stepped hull to introduce air between the water and the hull itself to reduce friction and improve performance. Let's go and have a look on board. So as we come to the stern, we can see we've got that really usable bathing platform there, ladder down there. Also see we've got this ski bar, so we can ski or wakeboard from the back there. Let's get aboard. And don't forget this is a 27 foot boat. So quite a nice little cockpit area here. We've got a nice locker in there, plenty of room for a few fenders. On the side there, we've got stowage for warps. And just looking down the side here, we've got some really nice side decks and a high bulwark as well. That's coming up to top of my leg. Just quickly lock up the bow. And a great little bow area. These boats are built in Finland. So as in that part of the world, they often use the bow to disembark. Let's lift that up. Got a nice size anchor locker in there. You can see the Lumar windlass there. Just look back here. Great little seating area. Nice area to sit at anchor or underway. Although at 46 knots, that's going to hit you in the face a bit. Right, let's go back in here. So we'll come into the wheelhouse. Got a double seat there, you'll see that flips over so you can actually face both ways. But it's very, very light and airy because that whole side is glass. So you've got glass there, you've got a nice open top, loads of glass there, opening port there, and obviously the forward screen there. Let's have a look at the helm. So we've got these Alcantara seats with drop down bolsters so you can sit or stand. Then we've got a nice Garmin screen there, controls, all your switch gear, and obviously your throttle close at hand here. So from here, got a really nice view. Now this boat is asymmetric, so you don't actually have, just stick it out here, you don't have a side deck here and that obviously gives you a lot more space inside. So let's just go down into the cabin down here. So we've got a really nice double berth up here and we've got a screen around what is <laughs> the heads. So we've got a loo in there, we've got a sink and if I just come over here, over this side, I've got a nice little seat. So it's cosy and not huge, but really nice. Certainly brilliant for a couple to get away for a weekend. Now, if I just look down here, we've got a fridge down there. And having this sliding door here means you can really get out quickly to help with lines or even if you're short-handed. Interestingly, we've got a little step here. So if you were moored side two, hop up there, and get over the side easily. But a very cool little boat. If I just look up here, I'll show you that roof, because if you wanted to store paddle boards or kayaks, certainly plenty of room up there. So I hope you enjoyed that. We love this boat. It's a really cool little boat. It's not huge, but it's perfect for a couple wanting to enjoy long weekends, I guess, but know that they can power through any weather that's thrown at them. Um, and obviously that's been recognized in these awards here. 
If you did enjoy it, please do subscribe to the channel. We've got lots more to come. Click that alarm and we can uh, let you know of anything that comes up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.